Previously on Icy World. Are you serious? That was that was there this whole time? I don't believe it. Clay in an icy world. Okay, well where's the blue clay deposit, huh? Now I'm I'm waiting for it. And the peat. Where's the peat? Oh my gosh. Look where I am. I'm like just west of home. Unbelievable. Greetings, programs. Per Pianissimo here, and welcome to a vintage story, Icy World. So let's not waste any time because I just remembered that I need flax seeds. I don't have any flax in here. Let's check the garden first thing. And didn't the agriculture trader, when I bought the oak tree, oak, oak tree, when I bought the oak seeds, didn't he sell flax seeds? So I think I better, you know, like book it out there just in case he still has them, uh, which would be nice. Plus I have other things to sell. I have a couple of aged crates. A lot of different vendors will buy those. So, um, and I have enough gears to buy some seeds, even if I don't sell anything. So anyway, we're going to check the gardens and go check the trader. And then we'll gather a bit of resource along the way. I still need some snow, some lake ice, and then we'll just fill up on sandstone stuff on the way home. I think that's a good idea. These guys may be a little stunted, but it doesn't mean that I can't try to give them another little 3% of the of the end there. Yeah, it's uh, not much. Did that just spill over? No. Uh, no, no, it's got some on there. Okay. All right. That's good. Let's see. What else are we doing? More moisture. We need some water. Oh, and we have soybeans that are ready. Okay. Uh, let's save some room for flax. And we'll plant you guys right here. Nice. Okay, I think I got everybody. Let's, let's see. Put this down. Where did my bucket go? Did I not have a bucket there? Oh, I set it down over here. Let's. Let's clear out our inventory. What am I doing with all of this stuff? I think some signs need to go onto my containers here. <laughs> boards! Boards, boards, and boards, and sticks. Oh gosh, and we've got some really busted up spears too. Okay. What's our food situation? I don't have any real portable food. And I really need to cook these when I get back. Okay, actually I can cook them now because I do want to make a couple of shovels. So that'll work. Uh, 16. Uh, 
There we go. And I've got my torch on me. Oh, boy, I'm getting turned around today. Okay, now, come on. Let's uh, concentrate here. Let's put the saw back. What kind of fuel have we got? And do I want to go ahead and use my zinc to make a bronze shovel? Or do we go ahead and just make a copper shovel? I think we can just make copper shovels for now. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and grab some brown coal. And put those in the forge. Yeah, let's not take the time to do all that other stuff right now. Torch. Okay, I do want to grab the hammer and chisel because we'll gather some lake ice while we're out. And let's find a couple better spears. That one's a little better. Yeah. Okay. Let's check our leather. That's almost done. Nice. So once this is done, we can do that. We need another knife. Let's grab that because I think just scraping this will take up the rest of the knife. Plus, we'll be here for a few minutes. Okay. Hammer. And let's get a couple of shovels done. Oh, wait. Don't we need a tong? That was very, very close. There's one project done. Looks like we need a few sticks, too. All right. Hot shovels. Hot shovels. Pink. That's oh, that's neat. I have to have the tongs just to stick them on my, <laughs> on my mouse. Of course I do. Give me those. Can I shift click? No, shift clicking it doesn't work either. Okay, fine. There's one shovel. Mir miraculously not hot just by shoving a stick on it. And we don't actually need them right now. I just realized that I have a copper shovel on me. But we are going to need them very shortly because we are getting ready to do that drifter trap. Okay, pair speed 0.9. Okay, that's because it's warm outside today. Which is kind of a bummer. Look he here. Oh man. Backpacks on their way. Okay. First thing you do with leather. Is you scrape it up. And now you stick it. Well actually it's not the first thing. <laughs> That's a, such a pet peeve of mine. When people say the first thing you got to do. And it's like already the second step. The third step. The fourth step. No this is not the first thing you got to do. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, we go from the brine treatment into weak tannin. And that seals for three days. Yeah, I think the first time I really encountered that was like a potty training video that I had my kids watch. And we didn't watch it much after the first time because that very thing it's like that's all she ever said the first thing you gotta do it's like but, silly but, but ma'am you've said that's the first thing for all of the last five things you've said to do you know you're supposed to not complicate things especially when it comes to potty training okay I do need the hammer getting a little too Wow, my hammer's almost toast. Getting a little too uh, overzealous in cleaning out the inventory. Okay, 
Now, metal parts, I don't think anybody buys metal parts. Metal scraps, I think it's stacks of five, but we'll go ahead and bring them. Uh, aged crate clothes. Are we going to buy any building materials, traders? I don't think we are. And metal parts, I don't think anybody buys those. Yeah, they, they sell those. Look at all this stuff. Oh my gosh, you can actually build these little Jonas parts now. Teleporters. Base return teleporter. Whoa. Cooper nickel. Okay, that's new. Electrum. Oh, goody. We only need some, what, silver and gold? Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Yeah, that's it. Huh. That, that, that's really neat though look it takes you back to your starting point it's like a gate spell or a recall spell nice okay are we ready oh we except we don't have any food okay what should we take that's 0.7 serving don't really want to take a bowl and I don't have anything else really we don't have any meat okay well it meat stew it is I guess we'll just take this with us and we'll take our veggie bowl we'll finish it up and then drink the other <laughs> and then drink yeah suck it up out of the pot and we will eat the other okay must close the door eh. uh, if you haven't seen my first season where I hadn't built my base walls all the way up nor had I given it a ceiling and it was soon after bears the polar bears were put into the game I think I went the wrong way here and that bear like just came over the wall of my base and I didn't notice it. I just happened to turn around. I don't think he'd aggroed yet because I didn't hear the rawr, you know. And But he'd come over the wall into my base and he would have nailed me. I turned around and it scared the daylights out of me. Like heart attack and a half. Um, so I, I don't know what can happen, but I am determined that we're not going to have anything like come out of the water <laughs> and into that house through the back door. It's my luck, something would find their way around. This is just flint, right? That's like, gets me. All this stuff. Someday we'll be able to clear out a path. I know I keep saying that, but you know, we got a lot of stuff to do. Got a lot of stuff to do, and the first things, I'll say the first things, uh, one of the first things that need to be done in a world is get away to deal with the drifter storms. So that's why we're working on that too. I have nothing that you need, and you have nothing that I desperately need. Okay, we will just keep going on. Okay, let's stop here for a little bit and pick up some more lake ice. I don't think we need very much. I'm really not sure how our glass situation is going to work out. So I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to have enough quartz glass to do things with. So I thought maybe it'd be best to have enough lake ice to do the whole project and then we can replace them with quartz glass as we get enough but I do want a nice big window in the back of the house so that is what we are doing right now whoa okay I thought that was a monster it was just something out of the oh it was the shadow shadows moving Okay, this is not that efficient. Not very efficient at all, but I'm not really sure how else to do it. Let's 
Let's maybe chisel a few more pieces before we head down to the depths and pick it all up. There we go. I think about half a stack should be fine. Oh. I don't know why I'm worried about getting wet, but the current is starting to get me now that I've busted out a lot of this. And let's get those. I'm thinking... Oh, come on. I'm thinking that should be enough. And I don't remember if we had enough... I don't remember how much we had left over. I mean, you know, it's been a whole four or five days since I did a recording. I can't be expected to remember that far back. There we go. Okay. Whoa. We've been in here? Uh, well, no, obviously we haven't been down there because that's way deep. I wish there was... Well, I guess there is a way if I had extra torches I could just toss them down but to, to be able to see down at an angle like that. That's that exposed gravel from where I gathered the snow. Let's check the trader and... I wonder, should we gather snow on the way back? We're going to get the trader here and then I think that's on top of a cliff. We had better gather just a little bit of snow here. I don't need too much. So let me gather a little bit before we check the trader. And get the hammer off the offhand. I go from a whole room full of adult quail ruse crowing to a little baby screaming in the incubator. <laughs> Alright, what have we got for sale, Mr. Treasure Hunter Trader? Actually, I'm not looking for what you have for sale. I would like to know what you want to buy. And you don't want to buy anything. Four gears for bismuth bronze? Meh. Six gears for a bismuth bronze shovel. Ooh, if we need gears, it might be a way. Oh gosh, being able to sell leather backpack for five gears. That would be amazing. But of course, only after I have my own, which will be happening very soon. Did I count wrong? I thought I had 64. Goodness, okay. Counting with Purr. We need some help, obviously. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, and off we go. Should I go around? Oh my gosh, look at the whole parkour maze. I think we're going to go around. Yeah, another trip will be to come back and pick up... Oh gosh, we should really... Um, we are running low on brown coal. I don't think it would hurt to pick up a few of these nodes. Um, especially right now when we're on mainly a trader mission. And yeah, this will be very useful. So, yeah, that works. Pick up a few of these along the way. Oh, I already picked these up, didn't I? <laughs> eh. It's just everywhere on spawn. And brown coal, of course, because why wouldn't it be? Should I mark it here too? Why not? Brown coal. 
all this. I should be running to the trader. Watch, he will have like just cycled out of having some flax seeds. I'll get there and he'll say, oh, per, you know, I just had flax seeds for sale yesterday, but since it's after 12 o'clock, I've just refreshed my inventory and I've decided not to sell them. So, uh, because you weren't back here in time, so. So I've decided not to sell them anymore. Too bad, so sad. Nah, that probably won't happen. <laughs> nah, I'll just never know. I'll just never know. Actually, what I should do is go back and see <laughs> what he had. I usually will take screenshots of the traders so I know what they have for sale. So I can go back and look and see what they had for sale and when they'll refresh it. Okay, am I going the right direction? Am I going the right direction? Yes, I am. I'll have to go around that little hill, so we might as well go around this little lake. I don't remember seeing anything over... Oh, yeah, I, there were wolves over here right there. Let me see if we can find a fresh ruin. I mean, why not? Did we go on this side of the lake before? I don't think we did. Okay. Slightly new territory. Looks a whole lot like the old territory we've been over before. Just much of the same. Hi, foxes. I've got so much nice red meat right now. Thank goodness. Thanks to those sheep spawning. I'll have to go check again. Maybe take that bear out when I'm there as well. No, no, I don't like taking bears out when it's got lots of trees and stuff. I don't remember how many trees there were. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm just rambling. Just rambling along during our stroll. Okay, agriculture trader, what do you have? Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. <laughs> he has flax. Ooh, oak seeds. Do we want to buy more oak seeds? How many of these do you want? You want three. I happen to have three. Why, thank you very much. But I am definitely buying. You have two sets. Those are mine. Uh, do I want to buy more oak seeds? Uh, leather is pretty useful, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, because I only got one seed from that last one. Okay, just... We're just gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay. Bye-bye. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, we're gonna have to eat some <laughs> a speck of veggie stew excuse me pardon me while I have a snack right on your front porch there we are let's fill this up okay and we don't need that right now okay what we want to do is head over to some those are shale we don't need shale right now uh, I'm concerned about having enough sandstone. Wasn't there like a sandstone? Right, and I wasn't sure whether there was a vessel there or not. I think I swam across last time. Are there anything that looks like a ruin down here? But there are wolves. <laughs> but wolves. I think... Oh, and I should have brought that bronze pick. I forgot about this. We can pick up... I bet there's some ground quartz there. Alright. Let's swim toward that. Let's swim toward that. What was this? Oh, there was lead. 
down here. That's right, with that ruin there, I wanted to explore this a little more, but I don't see anything. Nope. Nothing to see here. Although, these look really interesting. That looks like it goes all the way through, doesn't it? Whoa! Okay, no. I do hear something. Must be a little waterfall down there. Okay. And that doesn't always mean... Actually, that never really means anything special, so... Oh! Can we get back up? Fine! I have a shovel. I'm not afraid to use it. Sand's a whole lot easier to dig than gravel. About ready to just pick up some lead, too. Okay, let's... Yes, I hear... Oh, that's a, that's a fox. I hear you, too. So let's swim across here and see if we can gather some more quartz. We can have room for any sandstone? Yeah. Yeah, we're probably not going to gather a whole lot. Because I want to get back and get this flax into the ground before it gets too cold to grow. I still think that's really funny how I found a nice little warm spot and built a greenhouse and I've stunted my turnips two cycles. <laughs> two, uh, two growing sessions with, with turnips got stunted. Parsnip seeds would be nice. Parsnips are also a fairly cold weather crop. Hmm. So we'll have to make sure... Um, first of all, we need to make sure that we breathe Forget about the breath meter. Ow, it took two bubbles of health away. Ugh. Okay. You know, one of these days you guys are gonna have a ruin tucked in amongst the trees and I'm gonna go, yay! But not today. Okay, what have we got? Wolves over there. What? What's shaking? What? What's glitching? Um, does anybody know why my camera is sh continually shaking like I'm getting hurt? Okay. Well, we'll try to reset that. That's weird. Okay. So apparently drowning damage has a little bit of a glitch. Nice to know. Okay. Wolves over there. That's flint and not silver. Okay. <sighs> I guess we better mark the silver. Lots of silver and gold in this quartz stuff around here. Okay. Oh, more silver. Oh, right. I picked this up earlier, but left the silver because I didn't have room. Hello, and there's a bear. That's nice. Okay, so I, that must have been what I did. I left the silver there. Now, what trader was this? What is this? Quartz. Just plain old quartz just sitting there. Oh man, was this a building materials trader? And I didn't bring the building materials stuff with me? That would be a shame. Oh man, do you want metal parts? Okay, you don't want metal parts at the moment. Three gears, three gears, six gears for black bronze. Yeah. Okay, and you are selling... Yeah, nothing important fire clay, but I happen to have found, I still can't believe I found fire clay uh, plaster. Okay. We can do that. I don't really need to keep either one of these. Okay. We are going to carefully come to this sandstone ruin here. 
and hope we don't aggro any wolves. Where are you? Go oh, wait a minute. He's sleeping. Okay. If I'm real careful, then I dig over here. And then I'll just take off really, really fast. If I hear him aggro. Yeah. I think we can do that. I gotta be sure that I don't get stuck into a hole, though. I'm afraid to talk and to concentrate listening for doggy. Wish I could dig farther. Why are you over here? Why don't you go sleep over there? Now, if there was another vessel, it'd be right over here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he moving off? Or is he coming closer? No, he's just set. He just laid down again. You doggy face. Okay, well, we'll just gather this little corner. Eh. And then be on our way, not past the other wolf there. Okay, we check out up here. Didn't see anything interesting. You know, now would be a good time now that I'm thinking about it, tin. Oh, blocks and items. Tin. No, no. Tin ore. That's what we want to see. Okay. So that's shale. That's phyllite. Yeah, okay. Good luck with that. Uh, all or peridotite. Is that basalt? Uh, yeah, also basalt. And granite. And andesite. Okay, so we're looking at andesite, granite, basalt, peridotite, phyllite, and, shale, and, I'm sorry, and slate. And we're on shale. So, have we found any of those materials other than granite at the surface no <laughs> just that little bit of granite that we have exposed and i don't even think we've been up there um there's this bauxite area north of this trader and it looks like there's a little bit of granite there uh, this looks really rocky and tree <laughs> i don't want to go there uh this is terrible we haven't unlocked anything that will have tin uh, this looks like foresty, but not oasis-y. A little bit more granite down here. We're going to have to take a few far-flung trips. Gosh, there's so little granite here, too. It's mostly icy and stuff. I do want to take a quick peek for some bauxite ruins. So maybe we'll do that. Is that... No. No, that's still shale uh, okay all right well yeah this may explain why we haven't found surface tin okay bear go go have a wolf snack instead of a purr snack well no ruins hiding in the rocks here so we'll go back to our old friends in this area and grab a little bit more granite a uh, granite <laughs> with granite on the brain we'll get rid of these floating blocks grab a little bit more of the sandstone because we can't have floating blocks it's just not right although i need more full blocks rather than 
the stairs. I'll have to go down in there. Because I think this is going to take a huge amount of blocks. He didn't really say how many it would take, but you, know, you watch the build and it's like, man, it's not... His list of supplies is a little misleading because until you watch it, of course, and you know for sure, but um, you look dead and not sleeping. You look dead and not sleeping. Where, Where is your predator? Has to be a... I guess it could be a... Um, could be a wolf. Okay. Oh, there's the bear camping out at that ruin. Well, and we looked under this one and didn't find anything. Well, fine. We will go ahead and grab this lead. We got more than enough lead around. We will go up and grab this ruin instead. Did we have any spare? Wow, little teeny weeny bits of lead everywhere. Do we have any quartz up here that we haven't gathered? I don't think we do. Is that a wolf? Again? Those are full grown wolves. Ooh! Glowworm cave. Nice. Um, is there a way... Have they put a... Have they put in a way... To gather these yet? No. Okay. I have considered, because this would be per purely cosmetic, I have considered putting in a mod, like, toward the end, if we make it this far. I would like to try to make it 100 days. That would be getting us to a full year of a cycle, you know, of whatever. That would get us to a full year, so it would be spring again, and get us through the long dark winter, which is the whole challenge of Icy World. I've really benefited from having a starting area that I did not have to go far to get a, a warmer spot to make a house in, to make a, you know, a, a spot. But, you know, that's the whole goal, I think, is to get enough supplies in time to survive the winter. If we make it that far and toward the end, I would like to go ahead and put a mod that allows me to grab those glow worms and decorate our base with them, just like icicles. <laughs> I wouldn't need very many, but I thought that would be kind of neat. Again, that would be uh, something if we actually achieve um, living that long. You know, that, that's a possibility. I made it to the winter in season one, and then life got in the way, and then by the time I could play again, there were so many updates. There were so many updates that it wasn't really worth playing. So that's why we started a new season. So I don't know. We'll see how we do getting through the winter. I was doing pretty well there and I had started with a lot of the darkness and I definitely had to keep a fire going if I was outside. Of course when I was outside I was panning and I was in the water. So. Uh, but we have a bucket now. I've, I was just at the point of making an anvil when I had to stop that last series. So I have an anvil earlier on and I can make and I've got a bucket so I can move a little piece of water a piece of water <laughs> a block of water this only you know block game players would understand I can move a water source inside that I can stand and pan in so that should keep me a little bit warmer now how am I doing I do have a little more room and why don't we just go ahead and bust this pick completely? 
before heading home. That sounds like a good plan. There we have it. All gone before we finished getting everything out. So that's uh, before we finish before we finish filling up our inventory. So we'll go ahead and grab a few more little bitty bits. Yep. Brown coal will be very handy to have because we're brown coal is good because we're starting to run out we used a lot of it for forging and things uh what can i use to smelt glass because we're getting close to that as well i know i have charcoal but i wonder if i can use brown coal to smelt glass well, something to think about. Um, now we're in dangerous territory here. Trying to figure out where the bears and wolves are. I seem to pass at least one or the other every time I come through here. Maybe I head north to the trader. Oh, okay, now I remember that there was a a grizzly here and then a polar bear right to the west of course they wander we head up this way and then head straight west feel a little more comfortable because that's the territory I'm used to did I leave anything else at the trader I don't think I did well we'll check later we're just going to get ourselves home and decide what we're going to do tomorrow. Our leather will be curing a couple more days. I wonder if we should check pumpkins on the oasis. I guess I don't really need to. They don't really need any maintenance. And their moisture level was staying pretty high because of the water block right next to them. Here I am doing blocks again. Water source right next to them. Hello, fox. So really the next thing that we should be doing is after checking the gardens in the morning, we should be working on that drifter trap. Current rift activity, apocalyptic. Okay, well, <laughs> depending on if it's apocalyptic over there and not too bad here, we still have some windows to build. Okay, uh, except for 20 bits that all fit into that chest. Nice. Okay, uh, we may want to build our back porch. Ooh! No, first thing we're going to do is plant our flax, eh? I think that's a good idea. Thank you for traveling with me on this little shopping trip. We did pretty well. We've got some flax seeds and a couple more oak seeds. And we were able to sell all three of those crates that we found in that ruin. That was really fortuitous. We need to get that flax into the ground ASAP. We need to check the pit kilns for fire clay bricks status maybe get some glass smelting and then we'll take our supply of shovels over and start digging out for that drifter trap but that will be tomorrow until then play hard die often and leave a good looking corpse oh